Floyd Money Mayweather. Floyd Money Mayweather and Canelo Alvarez fought in Vegas last night. I was there ringside this morning. I'm back in Los Angeles. Outlaws Boxing. The only gym that I know that's open on Sunday. Gotta ask you guys. The best gym open on Sunday, you mean? The only gym open on Sunday, so <laughs> therefore you could be Whatever. the best. You could be best pound for pound because you're the only one on your own list. How about this? Yeah. Floyd Mayweather, how great of a fighter he is. Does he get the credit that he deserves? Greatness is always measured after the fact. So they will, you, know, you won't really be able to talk about him with any, any uh, uh, idea where he places in the, in, in the realm of the greats until 25 years from now. Definitely. And then we'll start to really be more accurate on how we place him. But he's definitely the best fighter of the last 25 years, at least since Ray Leonard, at least since Roberto Duran, in, in, uh, in my humble opinion. You know, the way he picked apart a young I mean, I expected him to win for the reasons he won, but he picked apart a young lion, um, you know, who had almost as many bouts as him, really, not the same caliber of bouts, really young, strong, 15 pounds heavier, and schooled him and made him look like he didn't belong. That's just another level of fighters that very few fighters ever get to, that level of skill. And, and let's talk about this. Mayweather got paid... $41.5 million without counting the pay-per-view, which we'll find out Wednesday or Thursday. Yeah. Ryan, you had some interesting statistics there. What do you have? So according to last night, he made 41500000 in total. And uh, per round, he made about $3,458,338. And per minute, he made $1,152,778. And per second, he made $19,213. Yeah, but that's just for the fight. That's just the fight. Now you gotta count, you got to count all the that's training. Because the that's all one thing great yeah. about Floyd is he just doesn't rely on his talent. He showed up in top condition. 23-year-old Canelo was much more tired than the 36-year-old Mayweather. And okay, Canelo. he outconditioned him. Well, Mayweather came in very sharp, good to go. He was, you know, he showed it. The four usually he fights once a year, once a year and a half, and now he came in after four months. Yeah, and he looked much yeah. sharper. Didn't yeah. look yeah. old. Yeah, he didn't, didn't look like rusty. a step behind. Yeah. He's definitely one of a kind. He's definitely a, a phenomenon. You take care of yourself in sports nowadays. 36 is nothing. 36 is still in the prime. Speaking of which, Bernard Hopkins said yesterday he's. He wants to fight Floyd Mayweather at 160. <laughs> <laughs> nah, it's a, you know what? It's it's an interesting fight, but at the same time, it's one of those what you call a fantasy fight. Come on, Flo Floyd weighed 150.5 at, at the, the weigh-in weigh -in. at 150 that day of the fight. He weighs 150 pounds and he was eating like a pig, right? I mean, you saw I, on the access. I tried to make kind a of joke out of that coach, him, but nobody got my sense of humor. Because Floyd said he woke up at. 150, and I said, wow, he woke up early in the morning for his fight. <laughs> Nobody laughed. Yeah. It's okay. But but Floyd's greatness, you can't deny it, you know. Oh, incredible. He's, he makes every great fighter look ordinary. You know what, it's just like, and the, and the crazy thing about Floyd is that when he was younger, he was beating older guys. And now that he's older, he's beating up on Victor the younger Ortiz, guys. Victor Ortiz, Guerrero, like it's, uh, uh, Canelo. There's, there's, there's no catching up to him. There, there's, there's no stopping him, you know. And, and I saw that video that you were talking about, Jerry Rosenberg, uh, talking about Floyd Mayweather. And, and, yeah, ordinary and, fighters, yeah, you talented. Ordinary fighters, you got talented <laughs> fighters. Elite fighters. And Floyd's up here, without yeah. question. Without question, he is. So the last thing I want to ask you guys here. Floyd Mayweather, Canelo, I believe, will, be, will do amazing things in boxing. He, the last four or five fights, Floyd has just been so dominant. Who's next? That's a really good question. Who is next? Is it Danny Garcia? Is it uh, can Maravilla come down to one fifty two or one? In Switch Networks, that don't. But he's with HBO, so that won't yeah. happen. Right. I there, think it's going to be Tim Bradley than Manny Pacquiao. How? But though, both of them are HBO fighters. It's a lot of money so, involved here. Yeah. I think it will be maybe Amir Khan, the winner of Amir Khan, Devin Alexander. I think it may be uh, Marcos Maidana. Or he's a, he was on the short Madonna list. Or he's Asian fighting Broner. Broner or Broner. Yeah. That would be a huge fight too. That you know what? I just don't it, see those fights happening. And in all honesty, a year ago, did you see the Canelo fight happening? Yeah. No. No. Well, yeah. yeah. I mean, they were bringing Canelo uh, that, along well, yeah, for, for talking, making you know money. What, Ellie, they Robert Guerrero. About, nobody saw that one coming. Well, they were talking about Canelo fighting Mayweather. Well, at least uh, the casual fans wanted to see Canelo fight Mayweather after the, uh, the after the Cotto fight. Yeah. Um, but oh, yeah, the thing. Where was I going to go with this? Oh yeah, was that with. With, with yeah. Floyd and, and, and Canelo and, and especially Floyd, you know, it's really like who is he going to fight now? You know, Garcia, 
I, I honestly, um, I like Danny. I really do like Danny, but uh, I, I don't want to see Danny fight Floyd. I really don't. Why not? I think it'll be a great fight. Honestly, me personally, as a fan, it's just one of those fights that fighters. Uh, I'm a fan of both fighters, and me personally, I just don't want to see him. They're both undefeated. It makes always a good fight when somebody's but, all gotta go. But Danny's not gonna hang with him any better than Canelo hung with him. You guys are still there. I'm still downing Danny Garcia. No, no, I'm not downing Danny Garcia. But now he's got to go up and wait. It's seven right. pounds, it's easy. Uh, I don't think it would, yeah, yeah, I don't think it would be that nah. hard for him. I mean, he did come in in the first way at 140 and a half, yeah. and he came back down 140. Yeah, he's still not. He's not going to hurt Floyd. He's not going to land enough punches on Floyd, and that's and Floyd's going to beat him, and he can't beat Floyd right now. He's just not. He needs a few, you know. I don't think Canelo, anybody could beat Floyd right now the way Canelo he's fighting, was but too it would be a good fight. Canelo yeah. was too early in his career for this, and I think Danny's a little too early in his career for, to take on somebody like Floyd. Floyd's from a generation of fighters that um, have learned a lot of the old school tricks. You know, a lot of people, that, there's out, a lot of people out there say, oh, he fights dirty because he puts his forearm out. Oh, he clinches and this and that. People that have boxed, people that have been in dirty boxing matches before like that, understand that that's just how boxing works. It does, you know? Uh, never, not every fight is going to be clean where dudes are just going like this and then like, oh, you know, and just block and then no, of course, and yeah, and not every fight's going to be like that. There's going to be a moment where you get hurt, you may need to recover, you may need to tell the guy out. It's going to be a moment where uh, you're getting off first. It's, it's boxing. Anything can happen in there. But the one thing is about Floyd is that Floyd definitely comes from a generation of fighters that know those old school tricks and tactics and stuff like that. And I think there's a lot of fighters that are fighting today that don't know those tricks and don't know those old school tactics. And, and Floyd's main thing is, look how adaptable he is. Yep. Every time you see him fight, and Andre Ward too. And Andre Ward's not getting a lot of fanfare now. Only because there's nobody, unfortunately, for him to fight right now. But these guys are so adaptable. Every time you see them, their fights just look a little different. Their movements are different. Mm -hmm. The punches they rely on are different. How they move in the ring is different because they're just they adapt to their opponent and beat their opponent. And that, that's why there's really nobody left for Floyd. Pacquiao will be a good money fight. Tim Bradley might be a good money fight, but I don't think any of these guys are going to beat him unless he's around for for too long. There you have it. Stay tuned right here at OutlawsFaceWinReport.com. I'm Money Setback reporting. And you can follow me on Twitter. At Setback.